Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how application gateway, web application firewall policies work. This is the continuation of my last video. Please go ahead and watch that one before continuing on this video. In the last video I have shown how to create app service and how to integrate that app service with an application gateway and also we have hosted a sample application as well. You can find that video in the description or somewhere in the video as well. Now we have created this application gateway and if I access the application gateway's IP address, as you can see, we can access the application. Now if I go into web application firewall section and rules, I have enabled OWASP 3 here and as I mentioned in my last video, I can disable and enable some rules as well and these are predefined policies or rule sets for web application firewall let's say you want to write your own set of rules your own policies a policy may be that you can reuse in many application gateways what you can do is you can go into web application firewall policies and then you can create one and here as you can see the policy that we are creating we can apply the policy for front doors and application gateways and also Azure CDNs as well. I'm going to go with web application gateway for this demo and then I'm going to select the resource group that we have created earlier and then for policy name let me call this one block regions demo something like this and the location I'm going to go with Southeast Asia and that is the region that contains my application gateway. The policy state this could be enabled or disabled and also you can specify the policy mode as well. For this demo I'm going to go with prevention and one thing that you should keep in mind is that you can assign the WAF policy to multiple application gateways but an application gateway can only have one policy. So we have a one to many kind of a relationship there. I'm going into manage rules as you can see here just like the one that I have shown earlier we can assign multiple rule sets for this policy. You can enable and disable some of those detections as well. I'm not going to touch this section and also you can specify exclusions for this firewall policy. I'm not going to do any changes here as well. Here you can write your custom rules. For this demo, I'm going to block traffic from let's say Australia. The custom rule name, I'm going to go with block traffic from Australia and the priority, this could be a number between 1 and 100. The lower the value, the earlier it gets evaluated and we can add conditions here and match type, I'm going to select geolocation this could be an ip address as well i'm going to select remote address and operation is australia and then i'm going to deny traffic i'm going to add this custom rule here and this will block traffic from that country the next step is associating the waf policy that we are creating here with an actual application gateway as you can see here it is a list you can add multiple application gateways here. I'm going to go with the one that I have created earlier and then now this message is telling me that the application gateway that I have selected here has already assigned a policy. I'm going to override that configuration. All right and then I'm not going to apply any tags here. Let me click create to create the policy. As you can see it is getting deployed now. It took around 30 seconds for this deployment to get completed. I'm going into the resource now. This is an application gateway web application firewall policy and the status is enabled and we have options here to disable it and to switch from prevention mode to detection mode as well. Since we have an association of this policy to an application gateway we can't delete it. Now if I go into my next tab and click refresh as you can see I can access the application. Now I'm going to copy this IP address here and I have a virtual machine that is hosted in Australia region. Now let's see whether I can access the same application from Australia. 
As you can see, we're getting a 403 forbidden response from the application gateway. Now, if I go back and disable this web application firewall policy, let's go back to the virtual machine and click refresh here. As you can see, the application is accessible from Australia region as well. Now, if I go back to my resource group and to the application gateway, to web application firewall section, we can see the associated web application firewall policy. At the time of recording of this video, I couldn't find an easy way to disassociate this policy from my web application firewall. If you find a way, please let me know in the comments below. If you have further questions and comments, please let me know in the comments below as well. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today and thanks for watching.